But what about concerns around the protein affecting the kidneys? Um, and when you're talking to mm-hmm. your community, how often does that come up? People ask sometimes, isn't that too much uh, protein? And I, and I just say, you know what? It, try it. Give it 30 days. Right. You know, like try it. I direct them to Ken Berry and I direct them to That's Dr. Right. Kafee. I direct That's them to right. you because you guys are kind of the experts and you can explain it a lot better than I can. But the protein is not is not an issue. And and even people who are eating the standard American diet, if you're eating as much meat as they recommend, you should be worried about that too then. Right. You know what I mean? But it's so funny how people will worry about the meat and your stomach or your kidneys, you know, or whatever. But when they are stopping at McDonald's and getting a, you know, bacon, egg and cheese biscuit, they're not worried about that at all. They're not worried yeah. about the shamrock shake that just came out at McDonald's again this year. They're not worried about those things, but they're worried about a little bit too much protein for your kidneys. I, I mean, just think about that for a minute. I know. <laughs> just think about how absurd that sounds when you open up your mouth and say, isn't that too much protein? That's right. For what? Too much That's protein right. is one of the building blocks of life. How could it be too much protein? So like, Don't question me. (laughs) Sorry, but don't question me about my mostly natural carnivore diet. When you're drinking soda and milkshakes from you know from McDonald's or something, and you're eating Happy Meals, or your kids are eating Happy Meals, or you're eating the entire burger with the bun, with the fries, and a milkshake, like or stopping at Dunkin' Donuts on your way to work to get one of those sweet coffees that has 185 grams of sugar in it. Isn't that too much sugar? Isn't that that's too right. much sugar for you? Like <laughs> That's what, I, that's what I'm going to start saying. When people say, isn't that too much protein for your kidneys? I'm going to say, what did you have for breakfast? And then I'm going to ask them if that's too much sugar. I mean, it's just because it's ridiculous. Those cups are more than halfway filled with sugar and people think nothing about that. That's so right. don't ask me if my meal is too much protein and don't even ask yourself if your meal is too much protein. If you're also eating things like that, if you were eating the standard American diet, don't mm-hmm. ask me if it's too much protein for your kidneys because what you're eating is too much sugar and too much carbs for the amount of insulin that your body can create. You know, that's I mean, right. that's where the real problem is. So let's not talk about too much protein for your kidneys here because that's ridiculous. It is. And the irony of your comments is that the number one cause of dialysis and kidney failure is diabetes. So a logical person could then say, huh, so if the number one cause Mm -hmm. of kidney failure is diabetes, that sounds like a sugar excess problem, not a protein. So therefore, instead of taking medicines to protect your kidneys, like the ACE inhibitors and the mm-hmm. ARBs, like losinopril, losartan, as examples, instead of even taking all these supplements, how about if we just get rid of the poison, which is excessive mm-hmm. carbs? Right. So if you get rid of that, you'll find that that will actually, for most people, unless it's too far down the road, they can actually improve their kidney function and heal. And Dr. David Unwin in the UK has done research and others, but his, uh, if you search that, uh, you'll find that uh, in a seven-year randomized trial, he was able to show your kidney function for people with diabetes got better with a low-carb diet, not even keto or carnivore, just a Mm low-carb diet. So we already know if you remove the thing that causes the problem, you'll solve a lot of problems. So Mm -hmm. 